You're one hell of a bounty hunter, mister. You'd make me one fine deputy. I just want my money. From what I hear, the wagon hasn't arrived with the bank's gold. You'll have to take that up with Mr. Peabody, the bank manager. I just need one more week. I can pay you the $5,000 that I owe, but the governor is bribing my ranch hands to leave, and I cannot do it by myself. Well, why not just sell up to the governor? You could always move into town and work in the saloon. The saloon? How dare you? I just need one more week. I don't think the owner of the bank would approve. Well, maybe I can speak with him myself. I'm sorry, but the governor is too busy for the likes of you. To hell with that evil son of a bitch! He's mine enough gold out of Bear Mountain! What the hell does he want my damn ranch? Ma'am? I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of assistance? I want my money. We have a small problem. Then tell me about the gold in Bear Mountain that young lady was talking about. I'm sorry, I can't disclose anything about our clients. Ooh. Then tell me where she lives. And when I get back, you'd better have my gold.
sorry, Annie, but the governor made us a better offer. Good luck, Sam. God, not you too, Sam.
Do I know you, stranger? Tell me about the gold mine in Bear Mountain. I know nothing about a gold mine. You might want to take a trip on down to the saloon in Brimstone. It's always littered with a bunch of drunks yapping about it. But watch yourself, mister. You want no business with the folks in that town. This place is all I've ever known. Ma'am? A thousand pieces in gold. This will help me keep my ranch. saying as if it were me that lost an arm. Well, maybe, but a cannon? Well, that's too much gun for any man. Ah, uh, cork your whiskey holes. You didn't know him before like I did. Only a cannon could replace that man's arm. How'd he lose his arm? We ain't telling you nothing, stranger. Near as I can tell, we ain't even talking to you. <laughs> Take a walk. Answer my question, and I'll be on my way. Well, shut up. Don't tell the stinking prairie dog nothing. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sam? I reckon so. Say goodbye, mister. Well, you're pretty good in a fight, stranger. The only problem is you lost your guns and all the ruckus. Here you go. Looks like you still got some business with them brothers. They ain't what you call kindly fellas. Open the damn door, woman. Well, good luck to you. But I gotta look out for myself so this door is getting locked behind you. Looky what we got here. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a varmint what don't know its own business.
Now the real show begins. Let's in this quick. The girls are about to do my favorite dead man. Don't ask it's questions. Not impossible. Hey, come on, boys. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Everybody Mr. wants to get into the act. Not in our town. What's that? Open your nose around. Hey, who Sorry, are you? Sorry, stranger. Nothing personal. Bleed, you bastard! Bleed. Show, bounty hunter. Hold still, bounty Hunter. That's enough disturbing the peace for one day. Hand over the weapon. I said hand it over. Fella such as yourself should know better than to stick his nose where it don't belong. Tell me about the one-armed man. <laughs> What's it to you? He killed my folks. Well, I'll be darned. I'd heard rumors you were alive, but never believed it. You're Nate Harlow's son, Ray. Tell me what you know about the death of my family. You see, it all happened about 12 years ago when the U.S. Cavalry made a little incursion south of the border. 